Okay. So uh, basically, in console, we have or we already have the um, solver or the module for uh, electromagnetism. So you don't have to uh, write the equation all over again. But the basic, uh, uh, the basic uh, from console is basically from this electromagnetism based on Maxwell equation. So, tanpa dilengahkan lagi, kita terus buat uh, tutorial je lah. Okay, so one of the example tutorial uh, related to Maxwell equation is we can model uh, external defibrillator. So, defibrillator basically is used to uh, selalunya untuk jantung yang suddenly stop, okay? Maybe due to weak uh, electrical signal in the heart. So, we use defibrillator to uh, supply external electrical signal to the heart so that the heart can uh, continue its uh, contraction and pumping mechanism. So uh, AED or automated external defibrillator is a portable electronic device that automatically diagnoses the life-threatening cardiac arrhythmia. So arrhythmia basically, bila jantung kita uh, dia punya electrical signal dia tak regular sekejap tinggi, sekejap rendah, sekejap normal so jantung kita macam eh kejap, kejap pump laju, sekejap pump perlahan so dia ada orang boleh rasa macam tiba, -tiba jantung ni macam uh, macam twitch macam tu so uh, we use AED uh, to supply uh, electrical signal to make sure that our heart contracts uh, at the normal rate, okay. So the AED able to treat uh, through defibrillation, eh? defibrillation, the application of electrical or electricity, which stops the arrhythmia, allowing the heart to re-establish uh, effective rhythm. So ni gambar ni orang ni maybe lepas sakit jantung, so someone apply. Uh, defibrillator. So macam dalam TV, uh, dalam TV yang kita nampak uh, dia orang dekat hospital tekan something dekat jantung tu, itu uh, internal defibrillator kot. External ni dia boleh bawa ke mana-mana macam portable. <coughs> so ada dua jenis tapi function dia sama je. <coughs> so we can model this uh, using finite element and to see maybe to analyze the electrical current that flows in our abdomen. So um, the model is uh, as shown here. So consider the following highly idealized geometry. So kita idealizekan badan kita. So badan kita bentuk macam ni. So kita representkan badan kita as a rectangle. Supaya senang nak, nak faham macam mana electrical signal tu uh, tersebar dalam badan. So highly idealized geometry of electrode placement, placement <coughs> for an external cardiac defibrillator. So here you have two uh, electrode, one electrode here uh, on the right hand side, uh, dekat right uh, bagian uh, dada, and then one defibrillator down here somewhere dekat uh, bawah dekat dengan perut or oh, pancreas kot. So we supply a uh, current on the top uh, electrode and then we ground another electrode here. Kita groundkan dia. <coughs> so bila kita groundkan, current, current akan, uh, the current will flow from this electrode and flows through the abdomen and goes to the uh, ground here. And we have some other parameters like here, the conductance. So conductance of the abdomen, we assume as one uh, Siemens per meter. So maybe kita nak cari what is the voltage difference between the electrode pedals for an applied DC current of 10 ampere. So macam nak cari uh, voltage different. So this is an example of the results, okay. So we supply uh, in 
external current here. So this is the ground. So we can see that uh, the current actually uh, flows from uh, high current to uh, ground here. Okay, so this is the modeling step. So let's try uh, follow the steps and uh, using console, okay? <clears throat> okay, so, so the first step, uh, click model wizard, and then here select 3D dimension because um, the figure just now is in 3D. So we use three dimension. And then select console multiphysics ACDC. Okay, so your Maxwell equation is in ACDC. So here ACDC, turunkan, and we choose electric currents. And then uh, next, click study, and we choose stationary. Okay. Now uh, we move to uh, drawing the geometry, okay? So firstly, we draw the abdomen. So we use block. So here it says, Okay, so X, Y, Z uh, actually represent the width, depth, and height, okay? So 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0 0.4. Sebenarnya, uh, steps yang dalam slide ni untuk komsol lama. So komsol lama, dia, dekat sini X, Y, Z, width, depth, and height. So komsol yang baru, uh, 5.3, 5.4, dia dah tukar jadi width, depth, and height. And then corner, base the corner at point zero zero zero. Okay, done. Then we can try build selected. So we get our abdomen here. And then we we want to draw the electrode on the abdomen. So the electrode is on the surface of the abdomen. If you look at the figures here. So one electrode on this front surface here and another electrode down here. So to draw that, we can use a uh, work plane, okay? the concept of work plane. So right click, work plane. So choose ZX plane. So ZX plane meaning that the plane on the ZX direction, meaning that uh, this frontal plane or the backward back plane here. So choose ZX and Y equals zero. So Y equals zero, meaning that we choose the frontal plane here. Okay, so after that, we we go to this uh, plane geometry here, <coughs> and then right click, choose square. So the square has width zero point one. So you change the side length here, zero point one. Corner at 0 0.25 and 0 0.05. So try build. So this is your electrode. So if you try build union, then your electrode will be here. But in the plane, in the work plane, your electrode is here. Um, maybe they look is, um, macam mana ni, they look is, um, ke arah macam ni kot. Uh, 
pandangan dia, pandangan dia ke arah macam ni so dia lukis kat sini so bila dah build, dia keluar kat sini tapi bila dalam plane ni dia keluar kat sini so yang ni kena try, trial and error lah okay? if let's say in uh, test 2 ke keluar okay? alright so after you draw the work plane we draw another work plane uh, we, we draw another electrode using uh, work plane as well so right click geometry choose another work plane and now this time we want to use this plane here so we choose the ZY or YZ plane so here choose YZ plane and we change X coordinate to 0 0.3 okay. and then go to plane geometry here and then right click choose square and then the width is 0 0.1 at corner 0 and 0 0.05 kat sini and then you can build all so you get your complete geometry geometry with electrodes okay so we have done drawing the geometry now we go to setting the physics okay so firstly we set the uh, the conductivity okay so the conductivity can be set in uh, this section current conservation current conservation one so locate the conductivity electrical conductivity and change it to user defined and value is one semen per meter so it is for the whole uh, domain meaning that for the whole uh, body okay and now we have setting the subdomain or the domain now let's uh, look at how to set the boundary so first is electric insulation so here the electric insulation so for now you cannot set anything in electric insulation so you need to set the other boundary first okay because this is um, like by default okay so you need to override all this default by setting the other boundary first okay so we set the normal current density first okay? so right click electric current and choose normal current density and then choose boundary 6 so boundary 6 basically is this electrode here and then uh, change the normal current density JN to uh, 10 divided by 0 0.1 square so 10 here is your current 0 0.1 square is basically the area here the area of the square okay so we have set the normal current density now we set the ground so right click electric current you choose ground so we select boundary 8 so boundary 8 basically is the second electrode here okay so all have been set so if you go back to uh, electric insulation here so it overrides uh, the electrodes because you already set in normal current density and the ground okay so mesh is automatic so kita tak payah mesh then we can compute okay Okay, so we get some results here. 
So here the results is in uh, multi slice. So to get the results shown in the slide, so first you need to disable multi slice, disable. And in electric potential here, right click and choose uh, maybe uh, volume, for example. So here in the slide, uh, it plots for electrical potential, electric potential V. So let's plot for V. So we get something similar with uh, the results. We can also plot other things like, uh, for example, if you want if you want to see the current current flows in the abdomen, we can try plot maybe streamline, for example. Okay, if you if you plot streamline, then you see some uh, lines here. So this line represent the current flows from uh, the uh, in uh, the input electrode and the ground. Then we can uh, put colors on it. Okay, so by uh, right click streamline and choose color expression. Okay. We can also plot um, in terms of um, arrow, okay? So arrow pun boleh, tapi dekat surface je. We can plot the arrow volume here. So, um, ah, salah tekan. Oh, damn it. Okay, so kita disable can streamline dulu. No, terpadam. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, sorry, the crash. Ah. Uh. Apakah pagi-pagi buat pasal? Saya faham, saya, saya faham. <laughs> uh, apa nak jadi? Okay, sebaik so ada ada ni auto recovery. Yes. Okay, kita tengok boleh ada tak result tadi. Okay, dia dah hilang. Okay, tak apa. So, we plot the arrow volume okay tak cantik sangat lah so nampak lah current flow dia punya direction okay so we can change the uh, the density of the arrow nak banyak mana so maybe we can change um, hmm, hmm tak cantik lah how about then Okay, tak cantik. Uh, we can uh, use color expression here. So, nampaklah dia punya direction dia. Nampaklah sikit. Okay, tak nak. Besar sangat. Okay, besar sangat lagi. So, dia dah automatic kan? Dia automatic sikit. Boleh lah nampak sikit. 
Okay yang better tadi streamline ni Tapi streamline ni tak ada, tak dapat uh, dia punya uh, arrow dia So streamline, uniform density Then you use uh, color expression Okay Komsol berat se, biasa lah tu Kesian <laughs> Tak ada, entah, tak tahu nak cakap apa, biar je lah Okay so, so we have plot the So we have uh, uh, tried a variety of plots So now uh, the main question here uh, What is the difference between the voltage, okay Between uh, the electrodes So uh, Kita juga boleh measure the uh, impedance Impedance in in the abdomen, okay. So here we call the impedance in the abdomen. We call it as transthoracic impedance. So resistant to the flow of electricity through the heart muscle during defibrillation is due to thoracic structures. So thoracic ni uh, structure tulang rusuk kita. So dekat tulang rusuk kita, uh, dekat area dada kita ni kita ada tulang rusuk. Kita ada soft tissues like muscle, muscle. Uh, deltoid, uh, deltoid kot apa entah Then we have also um, Our lungs We have uh, All the tissues that Holding the lungs, holding the The heart, holding the bone That holding the skin So all, all of this structure we call it uh, Thoracic structures Lying between The defibrillation Paddles and the heart So kalau kita nak modelkan Secara lengkap, we have to include all those uh, lungs, uh, rib, all the uh, tissues, and then from there we can uh, obtain the actual current flows in the in the abdomen. So this structure include the skin, soft subcutaneous tissues, the ribs, sternum, lungs, pericardium. So the best way to reduce the impedance and to deliver maximum current to the heart is to use defibrillation, defibrillation gel. So sebelum dia orang nak defib dekat badan kita tu, dia uh, dia orang akan put some gels. So this gel will reduce the resistance uh, in the abdomen or the impedance. Okay. So this uh, pad, uh, this gel pads. Um, Uh, we use gel pads and also we use uh, the defibrillation during uh, bila kita hembus nafas hembus nafas baru uh, defib uh, so that the lungs is empty of air and also we press firmly down using handheld pedals so the transthoracic impedance usually between 70 and 80 ohms so to To calculate the impedance in the in the model, we use this uh, equation here. So we can define the DC impedance as uh, Z impedance equals the voltage difference divided by current. So with V active electrode defined as the average voltage on the active electrode with area A. So V active electrode equals Integration of V over area divided by area. So how to calculate this in console? Hmm. So this is the step. So to determine Z, we use integration coupling. So firstly, uh, go to component one here. Right click. Um, kat mana? Oh tak dekat definition, right click uh, components coupling So we choose integration coupling So after we choose integration coupling We change this geometric entity level From domain to boundary Because uh, your equation just now is over area So over area meaning that It's on the boundary, okay? Kalau over volume, then we use domain. But now it's over area, so we use boundary. And then we choose the 
the input uh, pedal or input electrode boundary six. So here, what we what we did basically we we want to integrate something over this area six here. So we have our integration calculation set in console already. So kita tak payah nak uh, tulis uh, coding untuk integrate, okay? After that, we define the variable. So right click definition, choose variable. So here, first we define int underscore v as int top one v. So in top one v here, basically it use this integration. So integration here, the name of the function is in top one. So basically we use this function in top one here to integrate the voltage on this area here. So just now we create a function of integration over this area. Now we use the integration over this area and integrate V. So basically we, we write this thing, integration V over area A by using this uh, in top one. So after that, we write uh, the other uh, parameters in the equation. So first is the area, area of the, of the electrode. So how to, uh, to determine the area? Basically we write in top one as well. But now we put one, value one here. So when we, we put value one here, meaning that it calculates the area of the surface. And then we calculate the average uh, voltage, INTV divided by area. So basically we write this equation, average uh, voltage equals voltage V here divided by A. And then uh, we want to determine the impedance. So the imp impedance equals average voltage divided by input current. So impedance equals, so impedance equals uh, V average divided by N the input current. Okay, so we have done uh, writing all the variables, then we can uh, recompute, okay? Com compute smaller. Okay, so to, to view the results, the value of Z, first you need to Uh, go to this derived values here, right click and choose global evaluation. And in the expression, you write Z, uh, Z underscore T, and then click evaluate. So this is your uh, trans thoracic impedance. Okay, itu je untuk uh, tutorial ni, okay. So, uh, bolehlah, tak adalah susah sangat, okay. So, um, so that's it for um, today's lecture. So, I already uploaded assignment four. Uh, assignment lagi. So assignment four is related to um, uh, Maxwell equation. So the same same concept, uh, but now uh, we want to see how the electrical um, current flows in a 
vision prosthetic or prosthetic eye. So here we have uh, an electrode arranged for prosthetic eye or vision prosthesis. So we, we apply one current uh, in one hex here in the middle here and one uh, and the other hex the middle the middle electrode we we put it as a ground so uh, if you follow the the question and follow the step the same as what we did in lecture 5 so you will be able to set the boundary conditions maybe yang susah sikit nak draw the geometry sebab uh, dia macam tak berapa clear okay? but the essence here, the pen, yang penting sekali ialah uh, drawing the electrodes uh, arrangement uh, kedudukan uh, kedudukan electrode ni dalam plate ni uh, tak kisah kat mana tapi sebenarnya dia uh, on the top surface okay? the electrodes are on the top surface but maybe if when you draw if the electrodes maybe slightly uh, sengit ke uh, it's okay yang penting dia punya kedudukan on top of the surface and there are uh, 14 electrodes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 7, 14 electrodes okay and then uh, in this assignment also uh, you will be introduced to use a parametric solver uh, try first uh, kalau tak boleh uh, we will discuss uh, next week and to calculate something yeah uh, uh, dah upload dekat kalam so nanti boleh check so uh, not 10% uh, your marks uh, the assignment for here it's a uh, 3% okay 3% of overall uh, assignment uh, tiga markah tiga markah per 100 okay so that's it for today's class so esok tak ada class cancel uh, we will uh, learn on new topics next week. Uh, so try to finish your assignment three and next week inshallah we will discuss assignment uh, four okay. So that's it for today's class. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye. Thank you sir. Thank you. No class. Orang tak ada kelas lah suka. Orang tak suka. Sir, so, assignment